it, this is it. We're we're on the last. We're starting episode of season... series three today. Episode what? one. Wait, what? What? No, yeah, I just thought we'd skip the finale. If that's all yeah, right. we don't. We don't need to see what happens. No, we're that. gonna watch it. We're gonna watch it. <laughs> Star one. The not much talked about, but recently talked about mm. Star one. Could it be that they finally have found the Federation control? Yeah, I wonder if we're going to blow it up, are we going to fail? There's so many questions. Is it going to be there? Is it going to even be there? We've got, I feel like we've got a lot to resolve here, more so than last time. Yeah, well it's perfect for knowing material. Yeah, the this whole Travis and uh, Serverland yeah. relationship that's been on and off throughout the whole season. It has, yes. That, Absolutely. you know, there could be some resolution there, there could be some... Maybe resolution with some of the crew maybe you know avon is still his old <laughs> yes threatening to leave i don't know if something's gonna <laughs> yeah. happen around that with no idea yeah and we will be halfway through the show as a whole once we, we will be this. and who is going to be writing and directing it one of which we'll find out now star one with chris belcher all oh, right not terry though no it isn't it's going to be a weird one. Just a nice conversation. Tell and control, I have 4,000 passengers on this ship. Control, engage emergency boosters at a port 040. Confirm, please. I can oh, see no. it. My God, it's too late. Oh. Oh. Well, that didn't go very well. 4,000 people killed in the first minute. Oh, It's going to be one of them finales. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the just said there's oh, 4,000 wow. people on board. Yes. <laughs> These things happen. What a malfunction. They're happening far too often, Supreme Commander. Computer flight coordination is breaking down on 20 different worlds. Which computer? Star Wars. Are you saying <laughs> that's a basic design flaw? No, that's not what I'm saying. The plains of Sumi mean temperature has gone up by 20 degrees. It hasn't rained anywhere on that planet in 60 days. Oh, you mean sunny. When it does, the effect will be something like this. Knowledge of its location is non-existent. That's not true. Darkin, no one mm. knows where Star One is. You maybe know, from there. No one at all. No, but she's... Oh, she... uh, maybe. Was she there in the last one when they found out? When Travis found out? No, probably not. Mm. So Logan's called the Tourette's. She'd know that Travis would know that one before. Which makes it about the only Unless Travis wants it for himself. It but she it. was, was smart enough to know that. It. You can stir up a thousand revolutions. You can wade in blood up to your armpits. I never realized. You really do hate me, don't you? I hope they refueled before they set out. <laughs> Going into infinity. That's interesting though, they'd already considered the fact that most that a lot of people are gonna rely on Star One. But they seem to have seem to be, well, not ignoring it, but have considered that and are willing to let millions of people die. That's really interesting. Space Command no longer recognises the authority of the President or of the Council. Ooh. I don't think I understand. Martial law. And those members of the Council who are unable to accept the realities of the situation. What are you doing? Well, I guess this is Star One, then. Just a routine check, mm. Rina. If she realised her conditioning might break down completely. Condition. Yeah, because they were all conditioned that they could never leave here, right? That's what. This oh, you're conditioned for that. <sighs> yeah, they had this psychological examination. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I don't like support. that hint. It is. You like dead planets with dying suns? Another freezing planet. <laughs> yeah. A door would be nice if you can manage it. I'll do my best. Preferably one marked entrance. Ready on scan, Jenna. Run course program. And fetch me a cup of tea whilst you're at it. Running. There are thousands of satellite generators out there. Beyond Star One. The Federation trying Even to get to Andromeda. A defense zone to keep mankind in or something else out. Yeah. There's more. Wow, wait! What is that in the corner? That looks like the Milky Way, then. No. Yeah, well, it might be the. Ga yeah, probably the galaxy. Oh, I didn't okay. see it, but. 
and they're about outside, very galaxy-esque. So probably the Milky Way then, or Andromeda. No, but Andromeda's too far. <clears throat> Whatever it is, that star one must be just yeah. So a minefield in between star one and Andromeda, keeping something out. Oof. Oh, yeah. Like, that's Mass Effect, right? Hey. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh! What? Dearie me, that's unexpected. But we're not really sure how they function under heavy stress. How they function under heavy stress? Is she not real? Station new orbit is confirmed. Tell it one, Billy. Let's look at that entrance. I'm a bit concerned. Where's Travis? He's here somewhere. <laughs> he's running. He's running this thing now. But already, May yeah, maybe he's already here. More idealists. It's Not sunny at least. Room for life. Yes, it makes you proud to be human, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> Straight away. There's a ship. It's coming in for surface landing. Yeah, Travis. I've got I was just thinking that. Yeah, Jenna didn't see when Avon blew up Travis's no. other ship in the. Let's no. see who else knows about this. Uh, oh, and this would be new. If it was Travis's, it would Are you be new. Tell us what's going on down there? All right, operate the teleport as instructed. Oh, very well. <laughs> and check that intergalactic defense zone. I was told you'd be alone. Obviously, you were missing for. Hmm. He was expecting Travis. She was my mother. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> May I see your identification? <laughs> Which of your hands is artificial? Yeah. Uh, uh, and here he is. Yeah, he came prepared for the weather. Oh, I guess that would permit anyone since Hold there's. It. Oh. Touch that, and I'll drop you where you stand. Ah. Uh, that one down on the surface now, perhaps. Zen, mm. <laughs> put the battle computers online. I'm going to set this time for one hour. You better hope they don't have security cameras there. <laughs> They're not listening in. <laughs> so that's why they've been causing Star 1 to fail slightly, because they want to take over with little resistance. Mm. That's why there's all the floods and the heat rises and things. Yeah, trying to suppress it. Yeah, a natural suppressant. Well, well I wouldn't exactly call it that. <laughs> oh. oh! Ah! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Not the cloak defense. In here they're dead, but out there, out there, they're still alive, walking about. Trying to kill it. She's yeah. not surprised to see somebody completely new out here. Look out! Whoa. What? And all of a sudden, blood. Um. Are they like duplicates? Are they going to come back or something? What are they? Well, come on, Jenna. You can see that a bit. They're in formation. That's a cloud of uh, big meteors. Wait. Very big meteors. Why have you betrayed your own kind? These guys Why have you given us the means to eradicate your species? No. Eradicate no. humanity. Virtually. <laughs> Maybe I just don't like crowds. <laughs> oh! oh right. Oh my. We seem to have stumbled over an alien invasion. Which of these control sections handles the defense zone? Travis has made a deal with the Androm yeah. these Andromedans. You must know something. Think, woman. Yeah, I was gonna say, is that part of the fleet? It's a very varied fleet. Sitting there. They're, They're waiting. waiting for someone to clear that defense zone. <laughs> it's. Is it? Terrific idea. Who do you suggest we tell? Serverland. Oh, now wait a minute. Oh. oh! <laughs> or something. Wait, is. Tra no, he Travis got properly shot as well. Yeah, I don't know. Oh wait, no, he's no, he's, he's just he's toughing it out. Is he dead, Avon? Is Travis dead? 
Look out! Oh, oh my he god! He is now. He is now. <laughs> These guns are a bit rubbish. You have to shoot no. someone multiple times. Yeah, closing down the defence zone. Well, I'll be right then. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, finale, I got worried there for a sec. <laughs> when did this come in? It showed up on the strategy readout. <laughs> got it. Okay. Now you've got to get it outside. Oh. No, come on! Oh, oh! Um, I mean, if they're intended to destroy this whole base, then you'd have to assume they're pretty powerful. What it is worth, I have always trusted you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Kind of knew that though. And now for the invasion. He's the end of season clip. There's the finale! <laughs> well, at least it ties the seasons together. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. And cliffhangers managed. By I didn't even feet. expect that. I didn't think we were near the end. <laughs> Neither did I. It had no director. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> it had no Where director! Where was the director? It wasn't directed. <laughs> they just knew what to do instantly. Well, I'm super impressed that nobody directed <laughs> this one. <laughs> yep. Yep, no, everyone wait, knew the lines. No, 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 no. They knew how to frame the scenes. No, 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 they no, just, no, no. They just knew. No, 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 no. no they no, knew no. everything. No, 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 no. They don't need directing. <laughs> Is this a spoiler? I don't... Th this isn't a spoiler. Surely this can't be. They must have just missed it off. Wait, what, what would it I don't know. I, f I feel like... Maybe they didn't do it for a reason. Oh, well, I mean, but if we, what maybe could, they didn't what, want could, to be credited. What spoiler could that possibly be? <laughs> David Maloney uncredited because he's the producer, so he can't have the credit. <sighs> okay. Ah, yeah, okay. it was really good. Uh, okay. <laughs> wow, wow, that was uh, another interesting. That was a ride. End of season. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Um, whew. But that's not the end of it. Again. It, yeah, the show continues. It felt more like a finale, though, even with... It the did. There was definitely more at stake, and a lot more happened, more revelations. I tell you what I loved the most, though. I loved the sci-fi ideas and the actual storyline, because um, we said the setup was very similar to the Oryx setup with the computer. So this episode almost didn't touch that. No. They came. They came here for Star One, and then they went. Oh, oh and there's, there's an invasion coming from the Andromedans. <laughs> yeah, there's brilliant. They've, great. They left walked, turn. Yes, left turn. They walked into a completely new situation. Pretty much. Uh, really, really inventive. Uh, quite tense. There were some slow scenes. At the beginning, it was slow to get going. With you know a lot of. 404, stay on track. Or, there there or was a lot quite a bit more of that. Again, just before the penultimate scene there, we had a lot of that as well with them trying to get all of the battleships in place and whatever and waiting for them to come through. Should have been ten sh tense scenes, but because they were talking through them, it kind of wasn't. felt maybe there was a little too much dialogue. Right. Um, I, I can kind of... Yeah, I think I can kind of understand that. So, yeah. but the, the storyline, the plot line was was interesting. Bang on, uh, with the, the twists of uh, you know, Travis dead? Question mark. Maybe, maybe unless that's some kind of yeah, I teleporter. See. I mean, he's not a time lord, so he can't mm. just regenerate and magically come back. No, maybe he's not he the can. emperor either. <laughs> <laughs> He's not what the emperor. The emperor, right? Okay. Yeah, Star Wars people know what I'm talking about. 
that's such a good point though as well, yeah, because Travis has been very prominent in these past couple of seasons, so yeah, that would be interesting if he just went. I like that it was, it. Uh, my two ends for him were either Servalan kills him or Avon kills him, so I'm glad it was Avon that killed him. Because <laughs> uh, you think Servalan may have done it already? I'm surprised Servalan <laughs> didn't do it in episode 7 of last season. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's possibly happened now. Talking of Serverland, she's on her way as well. Yes! We didn't even <laughs> see her arrive. I was totally expecting that. Or I rather, thought that's maybe how the finale would go. Like just yeah, just as they press the button, Serverland's ship just turns up like in the middle of them or something. And then it goes from there, but no. no. Um Oh, she's not on her way, but the army is, I suppose. I don't know if she's I don't know. Well we'll find out. Yeah, whatever she sent. They've got a lot to do in the opener of the next season. <laughs> it's going to be another redemption. It might be. I mean, I can't see any way this any way this could go other than a big old space battle. <laughs> Between... That's an opener, you know. You, yeah. <sighs> this is a very interesting approach to doing season finales. Instead it of is, ending... Instead of focusing on ending the season, you're focusing on setting up... Bringing people next. back again. <laughs> yeah. Which worked this time, I don't think it worked last time. It was a bit choppy last time. Yeah. But they didn't even know if the show was going to continue, maybe, so... Mm. This felt like it was much more planned that way. The other one felt like, oh, yes. I guess we get a... The other one felt like, oh, I bet we... I guess we better put something here to bring people back again. This felt like it was set up for that. Yeah, definitely, mm. yeah. Yeah, this was really good. Yeah. And this has... This is main plotline as well. The other one kind of only really related to the Liberator uh, and that, that origin story, which was then wrapped up very quickly in Redemption. Mm -hmm. Whereas this has been built up throughout the series, whereas the end of Orac isn't. So much happened yeah, towards the happened. end there. Yeah, that, that idea, the sci-fi ideas, Chris Boucher is very, usually very good at um, big sci-fi concepts and this is no exception for sure uh, I just got super Mass Effect vibes again off the Did whole you? yeah with the whole dark space between the galaxies and then you've got an invasion coming out of it they're gonna wipe out all of humanity I mean it's a bit more in Mass Effect like, it's, a bit, it's a bit grander isn't it with the Reapers and toward, all of yeah, that well, I always thought 3 was the grander one well, yeah, but it's all really the same thing, isn't it? It's all one storyline, just trying to stop the Reapers. Mass Effect, in um, a way. This Mass Effect definitely owes a debt to this. I mean, yeah, that's something I kind of thought about since we watched Shadow, I think. Yeah. And when we brought the similarities to that, I don't know if this would have inspired that. I mean, yeah, Bioware, I think, I think is American or Canadian. I'm what? not sure. So, and I don't know how big Blake 7 was outside of the UK, so... No, I don't either, but it, it's weirdly similar. Yeah, I can def yeah, I can definitely understand similarities, or if or if Star Trek has had s similar stuff to this. Yeah, that's true. I guess Star Trek may have inspired this, or something else may have inspired this, but also, I don't know. Yeah, it's a lot of... Yeah, we've got the whole science fiction space opera lore to dig through. At least to me, this is a fairly new idea, a new kind of concept of storyline that I have only seen anything remotely similar in Mass Effect. Obviously this came first. Yes. Um, yes. Unlike, you know, a lot of storylines that we had last season, I think a lot of the storylines in this season were quite fresh, felt very inventive. Very little repeating. A, a lot less repeating, yeah. Still a little bit, but not so much. Yeah, most, most episodes did bring in something new. Yeah, if a lot of them had the similar outline of Someone goes down, as you mentioned, someone goes down, get into trouble, someone else goes down, get into trouble, oh well, last person goes down and sorts it out. <laughs> you know, th that was, there was a few episodes of that. But I felt this series of Blake 7 managed to, enough of the time, break from that formula. Yeah. Not always, but enough that I enjoyed it a lot more than series 1. Yeah, season we one. are at the end of this yeah, we've just ended season two. Just ended season. That's well. That's why I'm kind, kind of discussing of, yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. My goodness. Yes, this was definitely a better uh, season than the first one. Absolutely. Yeah. Right? Eight point five and seven point five. Yes. Why seven point five? 
That's uh, lower than I expected for this one from you. Well, I like I, I I liked it, but I, I maybe didn't love it as much as you. Maybe you, I guess you kind of appreciated a lot of the narrative choices yeah. maybe more than okay. I did. You know, like the like yeah, the introduction of like the Andromedas and the way that it shifted the focus. Yeah, yeah. I guess you kind of appreciated that more than me. I was just like, okay, this is happening. So you you, know. you felt more like it was a bit not. If a bit too out of nowhere with that yeah, diversion maybe you think you'd like to have focused more on Star 1 and disabling it I don't know I guess I just yeah may, well I guess that's what I was expecting so is it, that it would okay. be more about Star 1 but yeah it ended up being more about this which is fine you know I, okay. I like I, obviously I like this episode quite a bit but yeah it was yeah I'd be lying if I didn't say it was different to what I was English. It did have that usual Chris Boucher thing of you don't really know what's going on and there's quite vague things, you know, that are, that are introduced subtly. Like they say, like you don't know that those other people are aliens until fairly no. far in. Yeah, that is quite... The way they introduce it, framing that the one woman on that base as... The, the, out, the weird one. As the weird one, then the only one who's human... Then the traitor, then you know, there's a lot of uncertainty in Chris Boucher's writing, which I understand why you wouldn't be a fan of, and that's present here. I quite liked it in this one. I definitely didn't like it in some of his other ones. <laughs> yeah, like his the first was it the yeah it was the first one he did that was very out there. No, the first but... one he did was Shadow. Oh, on this on Blake right. Seven, but he's he's done you know I you you. I think you in particular have been very up and down on his work. So yeah, I he's guess done. It... He's done Shadow. He did Weapon. You know, right there. Good episode. Bad episode. <laughs> he did Image Quite of the Fendal, for example. He did. Um, I don't, yeah. He did uh, Face of Evil and Robots of Death. So mm. you know, there's there's a mixture there. <laughs> yeah, it depends maybe on where that particular episode slash story is in the season and all the I guess the context mm. of it and what, uh, what I'm the saying, specific stories what I, what I mean is Chris Boucher's writing is can be quite tough to swallow yeah. uh, because of the style of it and the, the it doesn't it's, it can be hard to work out and it can be a puzzle and it can be uh, it doesn't hold your hand at all like in any way mm. really I can't yeah, I don't know if I felt that as much with this as some of his past ones. No, there's elements of that. Yeah, like it really leaves you a lot to for you to figure out yourself. Um, yeah, which I, which again can be a good thing or a bad thing yeah, depending I mean, I, on the episode. Yeah, like I've got nothing against that. It just sometimes works, sometimes doesn't, as we've said. So characters for this season again felt I felt like most of them had their moments. Jenna got a little bit less, and Callie got a bit, a little bit less. But everyone else, yeah, it's pretty much everyone. Yeah, Travis got better. Yes, did right change towards of the end. Yes, the initial change of actor was yeah definitely. Definitely an interesting change from the last season, and yeah, started off not so good, but these last I three feel that he has right. improved. Yeah, um, and now we may never see him again. <laughs> yeah, just as he was getting okay. <laughs> yeah, it was a very interesting arc for for Travis. I thought the writing of the character because he goes, you know, by the end, you know, he's he's wearing that cloak and he's almost like a bit broken in a way you know he's, he's lonely yeah he's a lot he loses everything he's got nothing left to <laughs> lose here and he's just wanted to destroy all of humanity pretty much yeah i did not think of that you know really. he's walking slowly he's covered up he's a bit ashamed of himself you know oh, i thought int- that was just to protect him from the cold well yeah <laughs> but metaphorically metaphorically he's he's down been going down slowly throughout the whole season, which has been That's quite true. cool to see. I just wish maybe we'd had a better actor. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Servalan um, didn't have all that much of an arc. 
I was hoping we'd get more of her, but maybe we will in the next episode. Yeah, it's like rotating. Um, she's she gets great dialogue and the acting is, yeah, fantastic. That's yeah. Hollywood level. I want her in a Marvel film <laughs> as a super villain. <laughs> nah, she can do better than that. She can do better than that. Yeah. <laughs> Blake has had some interesting stuff as well. I think. Yeah, more uh, development. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone almost quite selfish. Yeah, fanatic. They they brought that up here. He's he's become almost like that. You know, destroying Star One at any cost. Although he did just change his mind right at the end, saying no, loads of people rely on it. Which I thought they'd considered that, but maybe they hadn't. <laughs> I don't really know what what was going on there because he said yes. They they kind of were talking about it on the Liberator. And we're like, yeah, but we've got to do it because that's the price that we've got to pay. Minutes. And then right at the end, when they were ten minutes before blowing up, he said... Maybe didn't realise the weight of the action. I don't quite know. That he just at the last minute was like, actually, no, I, I don't want to do that to millions of people. Yeah, maybe he <laughs> missed something there, or I don't... Maybe he just changed his mind. I'm not quite sure if he let well, us know if he yeah. missed something with that. God, yeah, so... We've got to watch the next season, I suppose. Yeah, if you want to <laughs> know what happens next... <laughs> Yeah, and I guess all of the main crew are still here, just about. Blake's injured. Everyone else is here in some capacity. Yes. But it'll be interesting to see how the crew deal with this without Blake. Could Avon hold the show? He probably could. Maybe. Avon and Jenna could probably hold the show. If they gave Jenna some stuff to do. We'll find out in Blake 7 Series 3. 3. <laughs> three. <laughs> See you then. Yes. Outro! Outro.